Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to more Life Plays Half-Life. And if you remember last episode, we had a little bit of trouble getting this fan started, but now uh, we are going to figure out what this is all about. And bet you didn't expect that, unless you're basically everybody who has played this game before. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that, I just thought that was kind of cool. And uh, like we were talking about last episode, you know, this game makes a, a good use of the, um, oh boy, okay, we missed that guy. Makes good use of the abilities of the engine. Um, creative use, I should say. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, uh, I was not big into um, modding this game or, or really familiar at all with the modding system or the, the engine system for this game, so um, I can't really speak to this one in particular, but um, games like this uh, were quite clever. Um, personally, my my experience with uh, not a, well, yeah, I guess modding would be the word. Um, first person shooters came from the Marathon series, and uh, I did some texture work and a lot of level design, and, uh, story writing, and things, and. Um, that was a much less sophisticated engine than this is actually. That was a really a like a two and a half D <laughs> engine they called it. Kind of like the original Doom, in that it wasn't truly three D. Um, it was basically two D maps that ended up extruded uh, to to make three dimensions. So if you wanted realism, you had to be sneaky about how you got it. Um, just designing things the way they should be. You know, these angles and curves and ramps and stuff were not possible. So, um, you had to be both clever in how you technically put together a level, uh, but also in how you formulated a story that could work um, in an engine that didn't let you create the environments necessarily that you would have wished that you could. Um, so that was very, very fun. All right, we got fuel and oxygen both started up here. Uh, so yeah, really fun, fun, uh, fun times that I remember in uh, my early video game days. Uh, both playing, a Marathon is a fantastic game to play, uh, but also, uh, but also in terms of design and writing and uh, programming and. Yeah, design stuff, so. Okay, fuel and oxygen are going. So if you remember from last episode, what we are trying to do is uh, turn on, this is a missile silo, and we are gonna test fire a rocket, uh, which will hopefully deal with the nasty creatures that are uh, sort of taking up residence inside the silo here. So we're gonna use that rocket to kind of, uh, oh man, we're out. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use the rocket to, to fry those things. I'm probably way too far away now. Got it, but it didn't. Did it kill the thing? No, it did not. Okay, well. It's alright, we're gonna head back in here because we, uh, in addition to fuel and oxygen, we need to turn on the power, which is probably. Probably right through there. So, what we're gonna have to do is sneak through here quietly. These things, uh, they can hear the sounds pretty well, I guess. Uh, no, so actually, what we wanna do is end up heading down. So, let's chuck a grenade down there. That'll distract me for a minute. Ooh. Oh no! Um. Okay, so hopefully, yeah, the fuel and uh, and oxygen are still running. In, so, all right. Well, this will actually save us a bit of time because we don't have to. Uh, we don't have to go up the level. We want to just simply go down. So 
so we gotta make it over that ladder there. So after these guys stop freaking out here in a second, we can creep our way over there. So let's be very quiet. Sneak over here. Ah! Oh, nuts. Uh, when I get on the ladder, the forward and, and backward running controls mean up and down the ladder. Um, but it's sort of uh, relative to the direction you're facing, it seems like, so it screws me up a little bit. Uh, so if you're facing out from the ladder, reverse goes up the ladder. Um, well, no, maybe that is the same no matter what. Okay. So, we gotta distract these guys. Preferably, we gotta, we gotta deal with this quickly. Okay, ooh. No, that was tough. I'm gonna take the rest of these out, just in case. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is a dead end, yep. Okay, toxic sludge down that way. We're definitely running low on ammo. Uh, but, I think we'll make it through here. Ooh. Not so good either. But take that guy out, no problem. Still no ammunition. Alright. Hopefully power supply will be in here. Ah, oh, that thing is still not dead. Alright, um two shots with this. Make those count. Alright. Let's reload. I'm just gonna make it make the jump. And blam! Alright, we got it. Excellent. Okay, here's the power cable. Let's just follow the power cable through now. Alright. Okay, not too shabby. Alright, this is gonna be a problem when we turn the power cable on. And power switch box or something sitting right in that puddle. Alright, come on. All right. Two looked like it was enough, but. Alright, let's juice up a little bit. We're doing okay for health. Alright, what do we got going on down here? Ooh, okay. Don't want to get squished. All right, not sure where this is gonna take us, but uh, well, power cable goes down, so let's follow this. That is a nice design element, I've gotta say. Um, you know, they say, well, you gotta you gotta go turn the power on, you gotta turn the fuel and the whatever on, um, and not uh... <laughs> all right. Let's try that again. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is they don't they don't just leave it up to you to sort of figure out where that is. Uh, they give you the visual cues, and it also gives it uh, a nice sense of realism, too. Because um, you can actually see that something of the something of the facility design makes sense. The architecture isn't just totally arbitrary, you know? Uh, so, actually... Alright, I'm going to save here because I have a feeling that we got to make that jump that we just tried, but I'm going to see what happens if we just ride this down. Uh, we probably aren't going to survive the fall. But uh, let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, w that wasn't so bad, actually. Um, a lot better than I was thinking. I was thinking that fall was just gonna outright kill me, but all right, we got a scientist. Yes, I'll wait right here. Lead the way. All right, well, you can. I, I guess you can. to go another step. Oh, fine. You know what? Just, just stay there. You know, let Gordon Freeman, the uh, MIT physicist, deal with uh, all these issues. That's fine. 
It's not like I was trained to, uh... Whoa! It's not like I was trained to be a super crazy uh, soldier guy either, so, um... Okay, this is going back and forth. That's, that's not a problem yet. We gotta turn on a couple of different... Uh... Okay, that wasn't so bad either. <laughs> Except that is. Uh, whoa! What a place to... Alright, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna try and survive this guy. Okay. We're gonna save it now. Uh, it's too bad that autosave was, you know, like right, right in front of that guy. All right, so this should take me around to this ladder, which is good. Right, and this thing just zips round and round, so uh, let's try and not get kicked off by that thing. What are you doing up there? This is my hiding spot. I'm not moving until the situation is drastically improved. Now go away and don't tell anyone I'm here. Sorry, dude, but uh, I'm turning the power on. You're probably not going to like it up there. I'm guessing. Uh, Alright, yep. Let that thing go the other way. I'm going to come down. Ouch. That thing's starting to turn on, so I think we probably want to get out of here. Alright, let's see. That's probably... probably going. Ouch. Excellent! Someone has restored all power. Oh yeah, someone! Up again in no time. Someone, huh? Someone? Hope those people in Lambda Lab can get this under control. Yeah, I'm sure those those guys in the Lambda Lab are gonna gonna solve everything. You know, they're gonna crawl through all the tunnels and shoot all the aliens and evade all the soldier guys. I'm sure those guys in Lambda Lab are just gonna do a fantastic job. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a little damage here, aren't we? <sighs> Yeah, I actually had a lot of damage. Uh oh. And we No, we was interested to not take damage that time. Okay, that's good. Should be a little bit of juice left here though. Alright. So, let's um Yes, this is what we need to do now. Remember that uh that bit of um can't pick those up. Remember that bit of electrical box that was actually <laughs> in the puddle? Yeah, see, zapping everything. So we just need to kind of divert here a bit. We'll be all right. Power's on. Excellent. So let me just uh, check our time here. Oh yeah, we got plenty of time. I think we'll be able to finish this this mission probably. So I'm gonna save here because jumping puzzle again. Yes. Alright. Uh, kinda... <laughs> okay, that loading... was a bit... There we go. Okay, that's not so bad. Alright. Give me access to... to the silo again. Alright. So we gotta make it all the way back up. Which means time to save game again. Okay. Ooh. That was not so good. Alright, I still got nine grenades, so. another distraction grenade down there. Excellent. And 
we should just be able to jump right through the control room here. So let's try that. Okay. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Can we not actually... Apparently we cannot. Can we... Okay, we made it. Woo! <laughs> that was a bit of a gamble there, but, you know... Whoops! That's not what I meant to do. Alright. Okay, that has broken open now. Make things just a little more difficult. That's fine. Alright, so let's hope they can't get in here. There's that rocket. And now would be a good time to turn that sucker on. There we go. Excellent. Alright. Three big nasty alien things done for. Oh, was I actually am I taking damage? Alright. Well, I can't go back the way I came. Because there's nothing there. <laughs> well, what happened to you? I guess, uh, you know, rocket blast. You know, you should have moved. I'm not your nanny. Alright. And what we got here is... Somewhere to go. Alright, let's, uh, okay, make sure that we are fully loaded. And loaded up here. Whoa! Alright, that was not, that was not good. But, I think we can, I think we can manage. Just continue on our way down. Hope that the game gives us a little bit of... Ah! Okay, here's the dead things. Let's hope the game gives us a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of health recharge after that. Uh, let's turn on our flashlight. Okay, we've got a weapon. New weapon? A magnum? Dirty Harry 44, probably. Looks like. All right, let's uh, stick to our shotgun for the moment. All right, so if we come down here, what do we see? Um, there's air up here, so let's grab some air. Let's just uh, double check the other side here. Nope, nothing up here. Okay, so this is where we want to be. All right, let's uh, let's do a quick save game, and let's double check our time here. We are at just about 18 minutes, so a couple minutes left. But let's uh, let's see let's see what there is to see. We'll just scope this out a little bit. All right, excellent. This looks like it will be a good place to end. Hope everybody's enjoying the playthrough of the original Half Life. Uh, it's a lot of fun for me to play, really enjoying it. Uh, just getting back to it again. It's been a number of years since I last played it and I uh, thought it was time. So, um, excuse me. Yeah, uh, leave a like on the video if you liked it. Check out the, the rest of my channel. Uh, subscribe if you see what you like, like what you see. Um, the words, stuff coming out of my mouth, paragraphs and words and sentences and whatnot. And uh, until next time, everybody have a great day, and I will see you then.